Hello everybody, this is Brandon on Bint Infinity, and welcome to Tokyo School Life. This is a romance visual novel. Oh boy, I, yeah, uh, I bet you're looking at this and you're thinking, wow, Brandon, wow, Jap Japanese uh, intro there. Uh, don't interrupt me, please. Anyway, but you're looking at this and you're like, yo, Brandon, did you lose a bet or something? Like, why are you playing this game? Well, basically, a while back, I kind of got attached to this, like, the idea. And, uh, I kind of played Katawa Shoujo. So, if you've heard of that, you know where I'm coming from. Basically, this is a new game that came off on, came out on Steam. This tape came off. It came off. Okay? Came out on Steam. Stop interrupting me, please. Intro. Like, jeez. Can you contain yourself, game? Like, what is this? Like, if you don't even touch anything for, like, two seconds, the thing comes on. Anyway, the basically, you're, the, the story goes like this. You're a guy that is an exchange student in Tokyo, and, yeah, if you can, if you can see, I got my, my Coca-Cola ready. Um, but, yeah, you're playing as a guy who's an exchange student in Tokyo, and he ends up falling in love with people. What a guy, you know? Like, what is this? Anyway, no, stop interrupting me, please. We'll, we'll get to you, okay? Jeez. All right, well, anyway, let's just get started. It's a visual novel, and um, if you look in the settings, which is, I, I've kind of adjusted this uh, the way I wanted it, so, which basically I just turned off the voices, because I want to narrate it myself. Uh, I'm sorry for the bad lighting with my, my webcam. I, I don't even know. I, I, I did my best. But uh, anyway, let's just get started. Let's get to reading. I have a face cam because I feel like it'd just be boring as crap otherwise. This game is a work of fiction. All characters, company name, oh my gosh! Japanese names in this game are written in Japanese order. Last name, first name. Okay, so what is your name? John Smith? My name is, uh, Brandon. Brandon, hmm, what, what, what will our last name be? I'm not going to put my actual last name, but what should our last name be in this game? Uh, let's make it Samsonite. Why not? So our, we're brand, I'm Brandon Samsonite in this game. All right. Greetings from Narita Airport. Oh my gosh, I'm going to crack open a Coke. Anyway, let's just get to reading. Man, I'm I'm so excited. Mm. Okay, um, do we click? Okay. My name is Brandon Samsonite. I placed my feet on the ground in Japan. Finally, I'm in the country I've admired for so many years. I know, in this place, you know, there's a red dot on the flag. Uh, Nintendo's here. Um, this is the this is the land. This is the country that that uh that weird dog chips company or well, what's it called commercial that that commercial remember that commercial with the dog that's walking yeah that that's that came from this country too so uh yeah the plane arrived just before sunrise as soon as i disembark i immediately notice a difference in the air even this early in the morning it's warm and humid mm. coca-cola is good so this is a Japanese summer. For now, I'll just snap a photo on my phone and there we go, uploaded. <laughs> I can just imagine the frustrated looks on the faces of all the guys in high school who said I'd never make it. I gotta post this again when they're awake. Ha <laughs> ha, this is in your face. So to come to think of it, I don't, I don't think I like my character very much. Yawn. Why, why is there, like, text in the top left? I don't know. I'm feeling woozy from jet lag, but I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm completely beat, but I'm just too wired to sleep right now. Yeah, I know that feeling, like, when you go to, a, like, a theme park or something, and uh, you barely slept the night before, but you just can't sleep. Or, the night before, you're going to Disney World, and you know you're going, and you can't sleep. All right, no time to waste. So am I just talking to myself? Like, what is this? I roll my suitcase full of my belongings towards the bus stop. My destination is o Okawa City. Uh, excuse me. I apologize if I butcher any of the names of any of the places. 
I, I honestly, I'm a stupid human being. I make mistakes. Yeah. I'm going to attend the private school. Kia, 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 Please, don't hate me, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm, please. High school, okay. My high school back home has a long history as the sister school of Kiadkidai High School. Every year, they select the applicant with the highest grades to spend two months as an exchange student in Japan. This year, it's my turn to take on this historic privilege. I'm so crazy about Japan that I started studying Japanese on my own. So when I heard about this god sent system, I was overjoyed. After that, I just studied my brains out like I never had before. Wow. Okay. I do like this uh, picture here, like of this airport. It's, it's pretty good. All my hard work paid off, and now I'm in the country I've admired, Japan. Okay, we get it. You're a fanboy of Japan. Okay. Okawa bound bus. Here it is. Who am I talking to? Like, occasionally, like, I, like, am I just talking to myself, or am I thinking aloud? I don't know. I'm a weird human being. We'll, we'll just accept that. There's a direct bus from Narita Airport to o Okawa Station. I was worried that if the plane was late, I would miss the bus and have to take a complicated train route instead. But it looks like I made it in time. Alright. Good man. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. Yeah, let's go. Oh wow, now we're in the sky. As the express bus departs, I sink down in my comfy in the comfy seat and relax. Soon both my mind and body are at ease. Japan is so cool. So many unique and exotic cultures have their roots here. Harajuku 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 Harajuku's fashion. I can't wait to see the, all of them. Oh wait, hold on. Fashion culture. I just completely skipped over a line. I am really good at this reading thing. Ah, uh, uh, Akihabara's otaku culture. Shinjuku's Yuzuku's uh, culture. I can't wait. Okay. I, I am so sorry. Japanese wording. I can't. I can't. But there's something I'm looking forward to even more than all of that. I hope I can get to know some cute girls. My man. Yeah, that is where your head should be right now. My Japanese sensei said foreigners, or as the Japanese say, gaijin. No, we're, we're not going to say anything that the Japanese say. We're going to speak English, please. Uh, my Japanese sensei said foreigners are total babe magnets in Japan, and that he dated a bunch of girls while he was here. I'm not going to get up, be all greedy, like going out with more than one girl, but... Oh no. What did I do? What? I didn't... Back to the game, please. I didn't mean to. Oh, I think I, I, think I hit one of these buttons on the, uh, above the dialogue. Okay, I hope I can make friends with the delicate, kind, and lovely Yamato Nadishiku. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is so bad, I'm sorry. The ideal Japanese girl, if possible. Or no, a Japanese girl. If possible, we could get close enough to become pen pals after I leave, and then eventually we could become more than that. <laughs> You're creepy, Brandon. I really wish I didn't call my guy Brandon. I regret my decision. To make that happen, I can't mess up this first day of school. I gotta make a good first impression so everyone knows I'm friendly and approachable. I'll do my best. Zzz, I'm asleep. Okay, enough pretending to sleep. Oh man, we're, we're fading out, guys. All right. No way. I'm at Okawa Station. I frantically look back and forth from the time on my phone to the clock at the station. No mistaking it, they match. I planned on arriving at school 30 minutes before class starts to meet my teacher, so I schedule things with time to spare. Oh no, I'm gonna be late at this rate. Oh my gosh, that's what you get for being a lazy piece of crap, Brandon. Jeez. 
The bus driver explained that there was a traffic jam on the freeway. He should have woken me up. Well, I guess even if he did, it wouldn't have made any difference. Okay, I really gotta book it now. Er, no, okay, I really gotta book it now. There's probably a bus that goes to the school. Even though I'm a decent, or I'm decent at speaking Japanese, reading and writing aren't my strong points. Rather than try and figure out the public transportation in a country I'm not used to, I'll believe in the power of my own two legs. Okay. I quickly shove my bulky suitcase in a rental locker at Okua Station, pack a few necess necessities in my messenger bag and sling it over my shoulder. Okay. All set. Okay, let's input the coordinates of Kiyadikadai High into my phone's map. With a few taps, the root of school pops right up. I do this all the time back home, but somehow using the same features in another country feels more impressive. It's supposed to be a 20 minute walk, but I gotta arrive in 10 minutes. Okay, time to be a man. Jeez, man, just calm down. <sighs> Jeez, it doesn't look like I'm running. It looks like I'm, like, having a seizure. Like, what is this? This is rough. I'm feeling dizzy. Such a workout. I feel like I'm going to puke. I've hardly slept and sweltering out here. I read that summers in Japan are humid, but I didn't think it'd be this bad. I can't stop sweating. It feels nasty. Ugh. So much for making a, a first impression. A good first impression. No, no, at times like this, I gotta think about something fun. I, I question your methods. This is like a stereotypical scene in Japanese manga and anime. A girl running with toast in her mouth saying, I'm late, I'm late! And then she crashes into a boy who's also running, and bam, love blossoms. You really need to get your head out of the clouds, man. What's the deal with that, anyway? Why does Japanese fiction always use the same old trope? 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 Trope. 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 However you pronounce that word. I feel like that's an English word. I've never seen it before. I'm stupid. Is it some kind of artistic tradition? Arg, this sucks. At this rate, I'm gonna be late. My attendance record is already in shambles. This is not the time to risk going to McDonald's. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. You are freaking out over too little of things. Yeah, it's always a corner just like this, and they're running like I am? Question mark? Kia! Oh my gosh, dude. Your, your five minute fantasy has just come true. There's a girl in your face. Oh my gosh. What? What? Ow, what the? I crashed into someone? I know, shocking, right? Man, what are you do? Oh, wait, hold on. Man, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm really good at this female voice thing. Hmm, what's this? Something's warm and soft. Huh? What? What the? Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. J J what do you think you're touching? J J you perv. Oh my gosh, I'm really regretting naming my character Brandon. I don't like that I'm in this character's shoes. <laughs> huh? I realize my situation as I try to get up. I'm positioned on top of the girl I don't know, like I'm embracing her. I guess since I was moving around in this position... Oh! What? Let's calm down and take a good look at the situation. Okay, so right now, I'm on a road in Okawa, Tokyo. I knocked over a girl, and I'm hugging her? This is really bad, isn't it? Oh my gosh. This is really bad. I don't know what this is in Japanese culture. But I bet it's messed up. Die, you molester! Her, <laughs> a girl's knee shoots straight into my gut, or should I say, my solar plexus? Oh my gosh, this guy is so terrible. I can't breathe. 
What do you think you're doing grabbing a fragile maiden such as myself all of a sudden? <laughs> you're calling yourself a fragile maiden? M mind your own business, you sexual harassing jerk. This is a crime, a crime. Got any excuses? If not, I'm going to call the cops. She pulls out her phone and starts tapping it. The cops, police? No, 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 no. This is bad, very bad, real bad. Do you have any injuries, miss? I don't seem to have any. <laughs> English? Sorry, I'm in a big hurry right now. Let's both try to be more careful. Okay, so I guess when uh, when it's like in italics, then uh, that means our character is speaking English and uh, this character right here doesn't speak English. Uh, her, hey, don't try changing the subject. You were just speaking Japanese a second ago. Ah, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. But no matter how you look at it, it was really just an accident. I raise my hands in apology. What are you doing with your hands? Oh my gosh, dude, you are messing up. She takes a guarded stance. Hey, what's with the panting? No, I just... When I try to explain that I'm just out of breath, I take a good look at her and am instantly enchanted. Oh, this girl is incredibly hot. Dude, dude. I'm disappointed in our character. I, I honestly am. Her facial features are gorgeous and well-defined, and her body is slender and tall. Japanese girls are cute, but she's on a whole different level. I wonder if she's a model or something. I don't like our character. I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot. In particular, my eyes are drawn to the volume of her chest. Dude. Dude. She's about to call the cops on you. For sexual harassment. You can contain yourself. Dude. She silently tugs on a small gadget hanging from her bag. At the moment, a really loud noise starts blaring. What is it? Some kind of alarm? My sensei taught me about saying they have in, or about a saying they have in Japan. Discretion is the better part of valor. In other words, in a hopeless situation, just give up and get out of here. Time to run like the wind! Hey, don't run, you criminal! Get back here and wait for the police to come! Sorry, it really wasn't on purpose. I'll apologize later. Just please let me off the hook for now. I'm not a criminal, okay? I'm not a criminal! <laughs> please, I know that I just knocked you over and you're just this random girl and Japanese culture is different than American culture. And I totally just checked you out, but I'm not a criminal, okay? Arg, oh, man, this is the worst. Yeah, your first impressions could not be worse, man. And now I'm at school. <sighs> I finally made it. My unexpected detour made the trip take even longer. Man, I feel like I'm about to drop dead. And now you're about to go into this new class? And you're like sweating and stuff? Like, jeez. But thanks to my speedy escape, I'm not late. Just one minute until class starts. If I go straight into the classroom, I can make it just in time. But man, I know it was my fault too, but what was with that girl? Everything would have been fine if she just listened to me for a second. I thought Japanese girls were supposed to be gentle and kind. She was tougher than girls in my country. Sensei, isn't that just a little different than your stories? Yeah, I'm sure you can hear you with your thinking. I think about that as I run, which distracts me. You look like you're already there. Huh? Wait, hold on. Oh, now there's a new character? I don't know if this is a guy or a girl. You know what? I'm going to say it's a girl. I'm going to make best judgment here. Huh? Wait, wait. I can't stop. We're going to crash. A girl. Okay. Yep. Even though my, my voice really didn't sound like a girl's voice. A girl runs down the stairs at top speed. At this rate, she's going... Or she's on a crash course right into me as I run down the hall. But I, Brandon Samsonite, won't make the same mistake twice. But you keep talking like you are seriously, like what is your problem? Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, what? Whoa! 
holy crap. I quickly slam on the brakes, stopping with expert precision as, or precision as the girl lands safely on the floor. <laughs> but I don't even... <laughs> you are such a jerk. What in the world? I don't even bump into her slightly. However, my mistake is tensing up and I'm gripping right, my right hand tightly. By the way, I didn't mention it, but I was really hungry before. The in-flight meal with some nasty fried fish was too gross to stomach, so I stopped at a convenience store earlier and bought a sandwich and some black tea. Japanese convenience stores have the widely, a wide variety of stuff. It's great. The lettuce and ham sandwich I got was yummy. Well, maybe a bit expensive for how small it was, though. What I'm trying to say is, well, I have tea in a juice box in my right hand. In my right hand that I squeeze tightly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. This guy is such a terrible human being. The music suddenly stopped, though. What? Bad. This is bad. Get out of the situation, Brandon. Huh? What? What's this? This is entirely my fault. It's gonna stain and smell too. I gotta apologize. Um, er. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. So sorry. Wait a minute. What's going on? I think spilling tea on someone is definitely trouble. Shouldn't I be the one apologizing here? Huh? A kaijin san? Whatever that means. Oh no! A kaijin is an offensive word? I'm sorry! What do you understand? Do you understand Japanese? Oh. I'm sorry, I was in a rush. I wasn't looking where I was going. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. I'm sorry. I usually look where I'm going. I just happened to be in a big rush today. Calm down, you're fine. Usually I don't go three steps at a time. If I was going two steps at a time, I could have stopped right away. I'm sorry, I was rushing. Anyway, I just really was in a big rush. I'm really sorry. Oh, this hurt is okay. I've, I've heard problem. I've heard of people taking tea baths before, so I bet it's actually good for my skin. Oh, really? Okay, see ya, I'm really sorry. Jeez, couldn't you have said anything? Like, our character did not say anything. Okay. She bows formally and then runs down the hallway. You know, I think this is actually where I'm going to end the episode off. So, if you've enjoyed the episode, leave a like. If you loved it, leave a comment. Say you loved it. If you want to see more from me, then click subscribe. My name is Brandon, and this is Tokyo School Life. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.